after on YouTube. How you guys doing? Anyways, let's make a video of unboxing this camera. This camera costed around $191. It actually had a few cents on the end, so I was about to say $192, because I just throw away my chains in the trash half the time, because I really do not like chains. Here's this camera. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. I know you need at least four. AA batteries. So the first thing I see is something about a warranty, I think. Here's the instructions. Now the instructions are very important. You always should read them, especially on technology that you don't know a clue about. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be dumb here. I'm going to figure out myself. So I figured the camera won't have an SD card with it. So I also got an SD card. I also got a SD card. Uh, USB drive because I know my computer won't take this big one. I don't know why I wish it did it doesn't I have to plug it into a thumb drive before I take this camera out of the box I'm going to tell you probably the full price I paid on this. I probably paid around 230 to 35 dollars and I still have money left over not much I'm planning to buy a drone if I can buy a hundred or two hundred dollar drone for YouTube, of course. Here's the camera. It looks pretty cool. I, I technically don't usually buy these type of cameras just because I don't know. It looks uh, like a picture camera. But I, I know it's a Sony. And I know that Sony has good audio quality. So uh, it looks like I have to basically open this. And I don't know how to put the batteries in there. From what I can see, it looks like this goes down first. This goes up. Oh, there's little things that help you. Never mind. I didn't realize that until now. I was actually putting them in the right way, but there's actually little things that help you put it in there. So that's that's nice to figure out. Something I noticed is where the batteries go. Uh, I think the SD card goes there too. I'm not sure. The card slot is in with the batteries. So first things first is we're going to have to take this out and put it in there. So after that, you want to hit the on button. Okay, I just started recording and I'm getting Sony'd big time. Really bad time. I'm getting Sony'd really bad right now. It's like really, really bad. Okay, let's try to zoom in out. I'm going to make the rest of the video with this camera instead of my regular camera. Just because I want to see how well this camera actually works. Please stand by. I know the camera is in a really bad position right now. I hope you can see my face. I don't know if you can. I don't know how to work this certain kind of camera stand. It's actually my dad's camera stand. And uh, the reason the other one had duct tape on it is because I broke it and this camera won't stay on it. Here is a basically a USB drive for your SD card. So I took it out. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty decent. It has a really cool guard. It has different SD slots. It has, doesn't only have one. It has multiple, which that is really nice. I'm just testing out the new camera quality, and uh, I hope it works a lot better than the R1. Me if too. it doesn't, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be really disappointed. Wait, wait! I forgot something. I forgot to mention that there's also a button that you are able to use a light on. There's a bunch of settings up here that says uh, I don't know how to describe them to you exactly because I'm not good with words. But this is basically record. That is basically. Uh, landscape, does that make sense? And my own phone is sonaring me. I got an M and a P, I don't know what those mean. And I also got a picture and some R words I really don't know, but that's a zoom in button. And uh, that's pretty much all of it. And now, I hope you like the video. Subscribe, like, comment, and see you next time.